हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कोडिंग शिक्षा तो टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टेलिंग यू दैट हाउ टू मेक ए फोटो फैचिंग एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग अनस्प्लैश एपीआई सो दिस इज द वेबसाइट अनस्प्लैश एपीआई यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नीड टू क्रिएट अ डेवलपर अकाउंट एंड देन यू विल बी गेटिंग दिस एक्सेस की देन यू नीड टू यूज दिस एक्सेस की एंड मेक अ रिक्वेस्ट टू दिस एंड पॉइंट दैट इज स्लैश फोटोज दिस फो दिस एंड पॉइंट स्लैश फोटो स्लैश क्वेश्चन मार्क क्लाइंट आई डी यू नीड टू पेस्ट इट एंड यू कैन क्योरी इज इक्वल टू कार्स सो यू कैन जस्ट चेंज दिस लेट सपोज टू फ्लावर सो दैन इट विल रिटर्न अ जेसन रिस्पॉन्स एंड इट विल कंटेन द दिस रिजल्ट एरे सो दिस रिजल्ट एरे विल कंटेन ऑल द लिंक्स ऑफ द इमेज आई डी डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द इमेज ऑल दैट स्टफ सो लेट मी जस्ट मेक ए न्यू इंडेक्स इंडेक्स टू डी फाइल and create a simple markup that is photo fetching app inside body we need to have a simple input field of type text let me give a id of id of let's suppose search let me refresh this you can see that this is it input field let me just give a placeholder text to it uh, let's suppose search photos and after that we will be having a button let me give a button as on click attribute which will execute a function when we click the button here search photos so this is all the index.html let me just include the script.js file so in the script.js we need to execute that function that is search photos first of all let me just uh, declare this url variable or first of all let me just hold the client id which has been received here so this is my access key so you your access key will be different so paste it here after that let me just include the url the end point to which we will be making the request so this is the end point you can see that so let me just make a double quotes let me have on the this is the client id you can see that let me just can remove this and concatenate the variable is equal to plus client id and query is equal to so here we will be populating dynamic query so let me make another variable of query semicolon here that's it so let me make a new variable of query so this will be document dot get element by id and the id that we have given here in this id is equal to search so we will be extracting the value that the user enter by dot value that's it so this query variable will be concatenate with the request here you can see that and now we just need to have to make a request to the api so for this we will be using fetch we will pass the url this returns a promise we need to handle by dot then so this executes a callback function let me just console log data so going back to the application we need to search for something here let's suppose flower so you can see that it is telling that response type is course so if i expand this 
so this is all the data which is con contained inside it so now we just need to convert this response to JSON so for this we need to write here return data dot JSON so this again returns a promise we need to handle it by dot then function data so this time if I console log data and now if I write flower so you can see that a JSON response has been returning here total number of pages are there you can see that 15424 and this is the results array which holds all the photographs you can see that in one page it holds 10 photographs so for each photos we have the category created at color of the photo we have also the links here you can see that you can download the image download location all that stuff and you just need to parse this response so that to display it so going back to the index.html just make a div here with give a id of results so we will be populating the results in this div tag so just after you make the request in the dot then function data first of all just console log so that we can see the response here so in this response you can see that there is a results array so we just need to parse this so now we can just write for each you can use a for each loop to iterate over the array so the array is data dot results so inside this we have let's suppose declare a photo index element so we will be looping inside this array let me just write once again so we need we need two properties here first of all this property fault description here uh, let me just have the photo description also height of the photo also number of likes and the URL of the photo also so this one will be data dot URLs dot regular so this will be the let me just write this the link of the photo will be or we can just create a new variable called as result and use a backtick symbol here which is there above the tab key in the keyboard so this will write the template string so just make a new image variable image tag so give and give it a source attribute inside this we will populate dynamically the link of the photo so this will be data dot sorry photo dot url dot regular this is the full path of the image so now if I refresh this and click on search we need to uh, console we need to just add this onto the index.html because we have given the id of result here so we need to just uh, after writing this put a semicolon and we need to append this by writing document dot get element by id result dot append and we need to append the photo here which is result so now if I write here flower so you will see that all the images have been are showing here you can see that image source is equal to all the photos are being returned here so similarly we will be having some more in the results you can see that
this is the full URL of the image here. This is the URL that we are printing out. So after this we can just have a link property also which can download the image. So after this image tag we can have an anchor tag which has a href property so which will go to photo.links.download so this will generate all the links by which you can download the image so now if I refresh the application so these are the links you can see that We need to display it by inner HTML so that it adds to the let me use some jQuery for it so that to append it properly so go to google here and type here jquery cdn and after that go to this website and include the cdn of jquery just after your script.js include this tag and now we can use the jquery in order to target it by id here so we can just write .html result now if I run the application so you will see that all the images are displayed here So only one image is displayed here so let me just change this to dot append so now you will see that all the images are fetched from the API so you will see that you can see this and you can actually download it on your onto your local machine by just right click and save image as and just you can just save this image you can just write anything here so let's suppose computer and search so you will get all computer related image so you can see that on this is only one page is displayed so you, you can see that in the api also so only 10 photographs are being displayed at one time you can see that it is holding only 10 results so on other pages they, these are total pages 3924 so you can just loop through each page and display all the photographs